Hey everyone, it's TV dinner time. Kick your shoes off, get comfy. Uh, today we're continuing our episodes, conversations, whatever you want to call it, on The Boys Season 4. Uh, today we're talking about episodes 5 and 6. So if you haven't seen this, spoiler warning, uh, and we'll get into it. And episode 6 is fairly new. It came out this week, right? Uh, yes. End of last week. Yeah, because episode week. 7 should come out this week. Yeah. Okay. But uh, but yeah, these we we're just talking about it like right before we started recording. It. These are these tense. <laughs> these felt like episodes of the boys. Yeah. Like the first four episodes were good episodes, but they didn't feel like they didn't have that. This is the boys feeling. Like watching these two, I was like, oh yeah, they went full on the boys for sure. And then you kind of see the story is like now a little grander scale. Because mm-hmm. you're kind of seeing a little bit of like, I, I still I don't know if like a lot of people like watching, like basically our like political kind of like history in front of oh, us play kind of, out like, with or, superheroes. Like, sort yeah. of what's happening, basically. So like I know a lot of people kind of state it's like it's very hard to watch the news, and mm-hmm. because it's like all the same stuff. So it's like I wonder if like other people, those people, those same people watch media like this and it's like mm-hmm. uh, like this is the reason why i didn't watch this <laughs> but yeah. so that's like probably one criticism where it's like it's hard but when you get past that you're like this is a very good show like yeah it's like it, it hits i think it gives a way. nice perspective like it gives you the political side of things at least this season P- previous seasons really didn't do that this season for sure like is going heavy into the politics mm-hmm. and it happens to match what's going on in our world right now <laughs> Uh, they're like, they never planned for that, but <laughs> exactly. But I want to. I think these two gave us a better perspective on like what the superheroes are going through, which was cool. Yeah, it was chaotic, chaotic as hell, but it was cool. Yeah, like each individual superhero, like it, it kind of gives like a little tidbit of each. What's everyone's stake inside mm-hmm. of the story, and then also what's everyone's like reasoning to be very protective of themselves and so yeah. you see homelander homelander is very protective of himself but also of he's like, trying to be protective of his good. son but yeah and like everything else like it was a very poignant like sentence that he said to his son when he was like walking out and he's mm-hmm. like just remember it's it's just us on this earth and yeah and not them and stuff like it was very like you know, it's just us two. We're <laughs> better than, like, they're here, but eh. yeah, like, they're just we're more better. ants that we have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna squash them like bugs. It's like, it's yeah, like... I, I like that dynamic. I, I like the dynamic between Homelander and his his son, and because it's he's... growing on me. Because yeah, I think the wasn't... son is still. It was tough because to go from from the son being with his mom and being with Butcher. And then to see how crazy Homelander was getting, and you're like, oh, this kid was in this nurturing home, and now he's meeting his father, and his father's going absolutely insane. So it, it took me some time to kind of warm up to that. I'm still not, because it's Homelander, I'm still not fully warmed up, but it, it's it's looking a little bit better. The dynamic is, is interesting to watch, because you see that at first he was seeing his dad as like an evil person, but now... Mm-hmm there's that little switch where it's like it's sad to, to see because it, it shows that like children are very impressionable and stuff and yeah can can change on a, on a flip of a dime but it, it like him homelander instructing his child to like teach him a lesson and everything mm-hmm. but in like a way to like oh like this is for the for for the good the of greater her. good <laughs> yeah and everything like you're saving her <laughs> yeah <laughs> It was very interesting. Oh, <laughs> I just looked at my notes. So when I was watching episode six, uh, the, for whatever reason, the the thought of did Homelander draft his son to the seven before LeBron James drafted his son to the Lakers came into my head. <laughs> and I, was, I had to put it on my notes and bring it, bring it up. <laughs> So, so you know you're thinking about the Lakers while you're also watching. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about, yeah, the nepotism of, I love it. I love that they did it, but I thought about the nepotism of like, oh, let me bring my son into my team. Hey, that's 
how it goes. Nepotism is yeah. everywhere. <laughs> you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think episode six is the one that, like, Patty was like, this is a lot and everything. But there's a but lot rem- that goes on. Yeah. Well, it reminded me of the uh, that hedonistic party that they had in, in season three. Yeah. Where it was right? just craziness happening every square inch of that house. This was, I can't say t- it was a little bit more tame, but it was still like, what the hell am I watching? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's like you have politicians that are there and high level mm-hmm. politicians. And so that, that kind of like brought the, the hedonistic, uh, to use your word and stuff, down a little. But then you saw like, like what they were there for. It was almost like, mm-hmm. I was like, when when Huey shows up, and I was like, I was like, they, it's like the Purge. They brought him there to kill him and everything. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like some, some superhero that they're like, oh, we can just kill him off and everything. We'll have yeah. fun. <laughs> Which they kind of did, but. <laughs> they definitely did. Huey's scarred for sure. I like when he turns around, he's like, I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that was like that that moment of like, that situation happened to him, but also him dealing with his father's death. Like all of that just came at once. And it was just like, okay, I'm getting hit by a ton of bricks right now. Did you think that that was the outcome that he was going to have to come to? With his, with his dad? Yeah. Like killing, basically killing his dad. With like, yeah. I think he had already kind of came to that in the previous episode where he decided not to give him the V and then it slipped out of his pocket and he, he got the V. So I think I he already so. knew. Yeah, I think he already knew. Like, okay, this is what has to happen. Like, he has to. He has to pass away. Like, that's the only way for him to be. I guess it cemented that. Like, it it cemented that decision when his powers showed in a very like he had a a, a unique power that like mm-hmm. oh if he can't control it then he's like killing a bunch. But it almost kind of like that's like what you assume with all these super superheroes that they just end up like. They're like kids that are like trying to ride a bike. They're gonna hurt themselves or whatever. It's just these people end up hurting other people and stuff. Yeah, like, well, I think it was the fact that his like his brain wasn't like <clears throat> wasn't functioning properly either. He was memory loss. Didn't remember Huey as an adult. Didn't remember the wife. Um, I remember the wife when they were going through their the situation with the divorce. Yeah, which is a, the worst time to remember somebody. And, well, you have powers and like, kill a yeah, bunch of <laughs> and not even knowing how to use the powers, like trying to figure out the powers, and then seeing this person that is a villain to you in that that time of your life, and just being like, okay, I'm going to kill this person for sure. That was a very sad scene. I turned around and I turned to Patty, and she was like crying. Mm-hmm. She's like, why, oh. why did that? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't it was expecting it. Sad. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, I wasn't expecting it either. Because you thought like, but it go it it went into like you thought he was gonna like fight for him to continue. Like, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I thought the, I thought he was gonna try to like take him back to like their like the boys' headquarters and stuff. And like, I thought so too. Try to to like give the, give him the virus, but then that would still end up killing him anyways. So, yeah. And everything. Like I thought maybe he would take him out of the hospital and take him back to their headquarters so that he had a place where he can like learn and like hone his powers mm. yeah, and hope right? and hope that was going to help save him. But yeah, yeah, that did not work out. But it came to that. Sad. Yeah. Simon Pegg had, had powers just for one minute and then brief. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even talk about the, uh, the farm. Oh man. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That yeah, felt like going on with that, too. that felt like an episode of South Park. <laughs> <laughs> like, as it was going down, I'm like, South Park did something like this, but just not seeing it animated. It's never as bad as seeing it like with real life people right. in CGI. So like watching that and watching these crazy souped up, veed up chickens and sheep. Chicken, it was like, sheep. what the hell? A bull for some little yeah. The bull until was she tore him up. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> now, to get my thought process correct with that, so they were mm-hmm. trying to like figure out how to like replicate and make the virus stronger. But then mm-hmm. one of the animals got out and yes. then started infecting the rest of them with the Yeah. I think it was I like guess. airborne. Oh, okay. So then I was like, man, like, were they just like injecting a bunch of the animals on on the farm and like, all right, let's just see what happens and everything. <laughs> let's see what happens. What do you um, what do you think is gonna happen to Butcher now that you found out he's absolutely insane? I man, so I th- I, I was like, basically they did the Sixth Sense. Mm-hmm. Sixth Sense happened and everything, and you're like, holy crap, that was Bruce Willis the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It and, got it got me though. Like I wasn't expecting him to not be talking to Negan that entire time. Yeah. So like, where <laughs> like once Negan like reacted to the wife or the, the yes, the, I was like, whoa, like, Wait, what? like does everyone else see her or what? And that, then, like yes, like, started to like process in my mind. <laughs> I was like, Everything started to dissolve, and I was crazy. like, oh shit, like, Butcher <laughs> is losing it because like we knew the wife, like we knew she wasn't there. But we didn't know anything about Negan. So true, like, watching true. him like speak to Negan, it's like, oh, okay, cool. This is one of his old buddies. And then that, like you said, that reaction of him seeing talking to the wife, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what just happened? Yeah. Oh my God. I was like, even Patty was like, holy crap. And that's when she was mm-hmm. like, that's why I told you before this. It's like, we, we watched the two episodes yesterday. And she was like, I'm going to watch one episode. So we're sitting down yeah. to watch episode five. And then it ends. And she's like, no, I can't. I can't not watch episode six. <laughs> and then she was like, I shouldn't have watched episode six. <laughs> she's like, I've seen too much. <laughs> but now she's invested. Now she has to watch the last two also. Yeah, I think so. She's going to have to watch the last two and everything. And, and But that's what's funny because it's like I see myself going out of my way to watch this, this show. Mm-hmm. And Patty, she's like, she's like, like she watches Bridgerton, but she goes and watches this this show. Yeah. So it's like she's not gonna go out of her way to like watch like a very like gruesome or like hard hitting like action thing. So I know she actually does, but but I can see someone like she watches like, mob movies. What are you yeah, talking that's about? True. <laughs> but but like someone that like likes that doesn't like this type of genre, maybe like the superheroes, mm-hmm. maybe some violence and everything. I think you will still want to like invest some time in the boys because it's, yeah. it's a generally good story. They humanize superheroes no. where like DC and Marvel films don't really do that. They're kind of like, they're glorifying the fact that these people are superheroes, which is cool. Like there's a lane for that. Like we all, like I can't say we all, most of us watch the Marvel films and all the DC films that come out. The boys gives a uh, more realistic take on it. Like, hey, if we did have superheroes in our in our world, this is how things would go down. Like, mm-hmm. they would be causing issues, and somebody would have to fix it. There's gonna be wrongful deaths, and the superheroes may not even be charged for it. Large or small repercussions and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I in terms of butcher, I think he is. I don't know if he's gonna die, but I think. Like, whether or not does he force that guy that he kidnapped, basically, and chop his leg off to, like, create this mm. virus that's going to kill everyone that's a superhero? Seems like it. It seems like it. Yeah, it definitely yeah. seems like it, knowing that, like, Negan, his, like, devil on his shoulder, was the one that was, like, it was very, it was very poignant. I used poignant a lot, where he said, you're the one that made the decision. I just want mm-hmm. like, you, you use me to create that decision and stuff, so... It was, it was super interesting. And and I don't know if you saw in your like TV tracking app that you use, uh, mm-hmm. it, a season five popped up. Um, okay. So- yeah, I was going to ask you that. Yeah, I was going to ask you like after watching, because when we watched the first four, we were like, ah, oh, they may end it after this season because of how things are going. But after watching these two, do you think they would end it after this season or do you think they would push it to another one? I think they'll push it to another one. We kind of like, I don't know if that gives us confirmation that season five will come, but sadly with that, with that actor dying from, uh, Gen Gen V or Gen, Gen V. Um, Mm -hmm. I wonder if just, it's easy just to kind of 
migrate those characters into Gen into B and just yeah. kind of like do a separate story but within the same kind of you were doing that anyways in the same yeah. universe but kind of because we did see them yeah like they we are. saw they do show we up saw them in everything. episode five and then in what episode four or three so they've a couple of them have popped up so it would be pretty easy just to be like okay cool they're they've migrated over to this show and just the two, right? The two from Gen V. Yeah, just the two. Kool-Aid. So it's yeah. like they're like <laughs> the ones that want to become like the superheroes and stuff. So they're not the ones on the run and all that stuff. So I'm still interested in finding out about those ones, the ones that are on the run. Me too, where it's like, are they actively trying to look for them? <laughs> mm-hmm. Are they going to come out? I wonder if they would come out. It's like, probably going to be next. We have yeah, next episode. And everything. Like we have like a mm-hmm. last like, because technically they have no virus right now, so they can't. Yeah. That's why Butcher kidnapped that one dude to make a new strain of the virus, but he's like, I can't do it and everything, but I don't know. But then... We'll see. We gotta... Yeah, I want to see if Homelander dies. Like, alright, Homelander <sighs> dies, but then like, like it, the question comes from the, the wife or Ryan's mom in his head mm-hmm. where it's like do you kill Homelander and then create another one with Ryan basically oh for sure yeah because he's a god but mm-hmm. just, just in a small form <laughs> so. yeah and then he would have that animosity to whoever kills his his father that's like okay I need my revenge so he yeah. would be even worse than Homelander yeah I, I think yeah. that's. I think those are the big questions that like. Yeah, I think yeah. that's probably what's gonna happen is somehow they're gonna figure out a way to kill Homelander, and then Rhea Ryan is gonna take the place and be like, okay, I'm getting my revenge on everyone that whoever. killed my father, yeah, or whoever killed my father, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I'm excited for the last two episodes. Definitely, yeah. definitely, it's gonna be like uh, we have a little bit of time. We are gonna take kind of like a little hiatus from watching these because like we have to wait till they come out. Um, but I'm excited. Me too. I'm excited to see how it ends. Yeah. Cause like <laughs> these two like ignited my interest back in this show. Right. I enjoyed right. the first four, but like these two, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. This like, is gonna end more great. Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, let us know if you watched episodes uh, five and six of The Boys season four in the comments below. If you liked it, disliked it, what you thought about everything that happened to Huey. Um. Homelander um, having a, a fresh source of milk uh, at the end of the. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, let us know if you liked it, disliked it, what you thought in the comments, comments below. And uh, please like and subscribe to Saturday Night Popcorn for more TV dinners like this.